Okay. Very good evening, doctor. I think my voice audible. Very good evening, doctor. I think my voice audible. Okay. So, once again, very good evening. Welcome to NEET PG 2023 Pharmacology Recall Question Session. How do you feel the question? I think most of the questions are very, very easy only. I think. I super excited by seeing the questions because most of the question what they ask are all, everything will be from our class notes, PYQ and also from DVT. Such a very, very, very easy question today. Okay. So amazing question, interesting question, easy question, right? Right. We we'll start with the questions. Look here. The first question, a farmer with the organophosphorus compound poisoning was treated with intravenous atropine and praldoxum. After that, he presents with hyperthermia. What could be the reason for the present complaint? What answer you may, doctor? Can you please answer? OPC poisoning. Side effect of paradoxum, side effect of atropine, asperger pneumonia. What answer you made? The straight question, look here. The patient was treated by atropine and paradoxum following that presenting with the hyperthermia. Atropine, an anticholinergic agent that causes reduction of all secretion like salivation, lacrimation, sorting. By decreasing sorting, body temperature get increases, resulting in hyperthermia. So, it is the side effect of atropine. Right answer. Good. Fantastic. Congrats. So, the same thing what we discussed in our classroom. The common adverse effect anticholinergic we discussed like dryness of mouth and then dry eye and midriasis, blowing abyssin and reduction of sorting, this causes hyperthermia, this was discussed, okay, and causing tachycardia, constipation and retention urine, and this was our classroom discussion, atropine, contraindicated in hyperthermia, because this causes hyperthermia, this was discussed in our classroom. The same question was come, I, by seeing the question, I was so excited, okay. The second question, a child while playing plucked a fruit from a tree and consumed. He was brought to the hospital with the complaints of restlessness, painful swallowing, photophobia, not able to pass urine with a dry, hot skin, identify the poison and its antidote. See, it's something related to plant. That's it. From the fruit from the tree. Following that, patient developed painful swallowing, difficulty in swallowing, photophobia. That is uh, blurring mid midriasis because of that fear of light. Not able to pass urine, that means urinary retention and also causing dry skin. That is a reduction of temperature, reduction of sorting. All these are things about atropine poisoning. Atropine poisoning. Now, look at the option. Here, Datura. Datura is uh, having atropine. That for atropine poisoning, treatment diagnosis will be physostigmine. Okay, physostigmine. So the answer will be first human. This is what we again discussed on this same slide. We discussed drug of choice for air poisoning will be five so stigmine. So answer is option number A for that question. Now, which one of following drug acting by incubating both neprilacin and angiotensin converting enzyme? I think they made some different way. Okay. Uh, the angiotensin 1 
converted into 2 by ACE. So question, which is the drug inhibiting nephrolysin enzyme as well as inhibiting the enzyme that involved in conversion of angiotensin 1 in 2? The answer will be omopatrolat. Good, good. All are doing very good job. Omopatrolat. Now, what we discussed in the classroom, neseritide a vasopeptide undergo metabolic vasopeptides. That vasopeptides is also known as nephrolysin enzyme. Also called neutral antibodies. So, a drug inhibiting these enzymes called selective nephrolysis blocker like succubital ecodotyl. Whereas, they ask about drugs inhibiting ACG as well as nephrolysis that is called omopatrolat and sampatrolat. The same slide but we discussed in classroom for treatment of congestive cardiac failure topic. So, this was the question. The drug inhibiting ACE as well as uh, nephrolysin. Okay, it is called uh, omopatrolat. Yes, it was not ACE. Yeah, look here. It is not ACE. They are asking about angiotensin 1 into 2. That means it is ACE. Okay, they are asking the drug inhibiting angiotensin 1 into angiotensin 2. This was hmm. Option A, yeah, this was the question, doctor. The drug inhibiting nephrolysin as well as a drug going to inhibit conversion of angiotensin 1 into 2. That's called ACE. The answer will be omopatrolat. Okay. Right. Next question. Ah, this question, I am not able to get full options. Can you please tell me? Pulmonary fibrosis and hypothyroidism are side effects of which are the following drugs? Here, I am, I am full option, I am not able to get. But anyway, the right answer for the question, amiodarone. Can you please tell me, pulmonary fibrosis, hypothyroidism are side effect of which herb? Can you tell me other options so that I can make a complete video for you and upload it? Okay, one more thing, spiral lactone. Okay, then spiral lactone, then other options. So, can you answer? Anybody want recollect? Other option, hydrolysin. Okay, hydrolysin. Hydrolysin. Any other option? Any other option? One more option? Atinolol. Okay, good, good, good. So, anyway, a bit of a Anyway, the answer for the question is uh, option number A, amidarone. Okay, so you are telling spiral lactone, hydrolysin, atinolol. Right. Next. Uh, this was, I think, you know, not need. That is, amidarone causes so many problems. For that, we discuss our classroom. Please check PFT, LFT, mnemonic. That is, they causing pulmonary fibrosis, uh, pigmentation, corneal deposit, pulmonary fibrosis, and liver function problem, thyroid function problem like hypothyroidism. Compared to hyper, hypo is the most common. Okay. Uh, so, this is a straight question. Amidarone on chronic therapy have a risk of pulmonary fibrosis, also risk of causing thyroid problem like hypothyroidism or hyper, mostly hypo because it inhibiting peripheral conversion of T4 to T3. So, answer is option number, that is amidarone is the right answer. Okay. Anyway, I will note the options, Hydro, uh, three extra options are spiral lactone, hydrolysin, atinolol. Okay. Next. Ah, this is the, I think, difficult question. This one question I find difficult in. Can you answer? Regarding, regarding ARBs, which is true statement? Am I right? The same question was given. Tell me, Sata, undergo renal clearance. Airbus Sata, undergo hepatic and renal clearance. Candice, undergo renal clearance. Losartan has thromboxin A2 antagonist. This question is right or some modification is there? Can I answer? This question is right or some modification is needed? Okay. If this is the right question, the answer will be Losartan has thromboxyl A2 antagonist. Okay. But just look at this. Tell me Sartan undergo renal clearance. The right answer is tell me Sartan unsafe in liver disease. That means undergo excretion by bile. Bile. Not this. Okay. And 
Irbasatan undergo hepatic and ill. Look at Irbasatan undergoes only by bile. Only by bile. So that means unsafe in liver disease. And candies are undergo excretion by bile as well as kidney. So these are all wrong statement. Right statement is option number D. Am I right? Okay. Except, okay, what words? The, I think the options are same. Right? Anyway, losartan having additional effect of thromboxin A to antagonistic action and the uric use, uric action also. Okay. I think this one question, tough question, I do understand. But this question we covered in classroom. Losartan having uric use, uric property as well as thromboxin A to and the property based on that you can answer this question simply okay next question ah this is what this was let us the, the based on the kinetic aspect i made this slide that is which is undergoing real root which is undergoing this okay so tell me sartan unsafe liver disease needs dosage modification liver disease all me sartan safe both in renal and hepatitis while well, sartan unsafe in liver disease Candy sartan unsafe in liver as well as kidney disease. Herba sartan unsafe in liver disease. Losartan safe in renal but unsafe in liver disease. Like that they ask you one tough question. I do understand it's based on kinetic. But based on losartan having thrombosin A to antagonism, based on that you can simply answer the question. Right? And another very simple question is asking about in from the general pharmacology. Dijoxin plasma concentration 4 nanogram per deciliter. The doctor wants 1 nanogram per deciliter. How much time they will withhold the next dose? See, the, the, they are telling half life is 40 hours. So, original value is 4 nanogram and they want 1 nanogram. That means 4 to become 2. 2 should become 1. For the 4 nanogram to become 2 nanogram, that is called first T half. From 2 to 1, that is called second T half. Now, the T half is 40 hours. So, from 4 to become 1, it needs 2 T half. So, 2 into 40 equal to 80. The, the doctor should wait up to 80. Okay. That's all. Next. Another very, very straight question. Mechanism action of TPA. TPA mean tissue plasminogen activator. Tissue plasminogen activator. Right. That means plasminogen activators are simply called thrombolytic therapy or homeopathic. Can you answer what any, any other option is given? One is antithrombin activity. One more thing, inhibiting extensive pathway. What is the other option, doctor? Any idea? Mechanism action now. Try say TPA tissue plasmogen activator. They given one now. This one. Any other option? The right answer five lesson that I know. But any other option? Okay. Platelet. Okay. Platelet infusion. Okay. Extensive pathway and incubating platelet activity. Okay. Okay. Right, inhibiting plate. It's not antiplated, it's a thrombolytic. TPA, tissue, just one second, tissue plasminogen activators mean thrombolytic agent. It is not the antiplatelets. Remember this. Okay. Next. Uh, I think this very, very straight question. EC changes. They are given tall T wave. Patient is on antihypertensive. What can be the cause for this? Okay. A uh, tall T wave mean definitely you know it's a case of hyperkalemia. Hyperkalemia. Among the given option, a drug causing hyperkalemia is spinal nerve. It's a potassium spinal diuretic. So answer will be option number A. I think very straight question. Okay. Next. Drug. Useful for treatment of dialysis disequilibrium syndrome is dash. It is based on diuretic. Dialysis, I mean, drug useful for dialysis dis, 
ஈக்னோ சென்ட்ரோ வில் பி ஆன்சர் பியர் இத்தாகனிக் ஆசிட் மானிடால் பியூமேட்டானை நெசிடேட் கெட் தி வெரி ஈஸி क्वेश्चन மானிடால் எ ஆஸ்மோடி டைரக்டிங் கேன் பி யூஸ்ஃபுல் ஃபார் டிஸ் ஈக்னோ சென்ட்ரோ திஸ் வி டிஸ்கஸ் இன் கிளாஸ் ரூம் தட் இஸ் மானிடால் யூஸ்ஃபுல் ஃபார் ட்ரீட்மென்ட் ஆஃப் glaucoma useful for cerebral edema due to ischemic stroke and also useful to control cisplatin toxicity normally for this we have amifostin along with amifostin we can supplement mantel also and it also useful for dialysis this equilibrium syndrome okay and mantel you should know contra indian palm edema as well as cerebral edema due to hemorrhage in case of hemorrhagic stroke it is contra indicative right so for this question right answer is option number b manitol this was our classroom it's like that is manitol a asthma diuretic useful for dialysis this equilibrium syndrome okay next ah another very 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 infantile question lkg question nebulizer patient on nebulizer with developed oral thrush oral candiasis what anti fungal drug use so imagine a patient on inhalable corticosteroid following the developed candiasis for that what is the answer okay uh, what they give doctor here whether they give clotrimazole or nystatin or both what is the answer no nystatin no nystatin only clot okay no nystatin only clotrimazole no nystatin okay very good now look at option clotrimazole terbinafin 5 flucytosin grasefolin here the answer is clotrimazole clotrimazole an antifungal agent used to topically for treatment of oral thrush a straight line from goodman gelman as well as from kd tripa the book that is for treatment of oral candidiasis due to inhalable cardiac we can use either topical nystatin or topical clotrimazole straight question okay friends so topical topical clotrimazole just apply on the oral thrush clotrimazole Uh, another very very simple question this question we discuss even in our dvt also patient on haloperidol now added a new drug i think the haloperidol was not responded to the patient followed that he, now he added on a new drug called drug a following the drug a therapy the patient now developed new complaints like excessive salivation hyperlipidemia i think metabolic syndrome what will be the drug a okay is good a, a can be they given all options like a typical antipsychotic in the hypersalivation we call this siluria this is a typical adverse effect of clozapine whereas hyperlipidemia can be a problem of uh, this also and the aripirazol ciprazidone and uh, respirator they do not cause that much amount of weight gain or hyperlipidemia okay so the right answer will be clozapine clozapine one of the atypical antipsychotic antipsychotic and for this uh look at a point this was we discussed in our dvt as well as regular class it causes siluria and metabolic syndrome the same picture i given a excessive salivation hyper salivation and it may be due to partial cholinergic agonism property this is called pillow wet syndrome pillow wet syndrome okay pillow wet syndrome so clozapine is yeah, a typical antipsychotic that is the one causes siluria as well as hyperlipidemia okay next this is same slide we put in our uh, dvt classroom okay clozapine causes hyperlipidemia pillow wet syndrome right a uh, patient consumed 100 tablets of aspirin aspirin what could be the treatment for this patient come on somebody asking drug of choice in pertussis less than 3 weeks whole child come on prop sony wait for some time the same question i have it we'll discuss later on wait for some time pertussis we'll discuss wait for some time now patient consumed 100 tablets aspirin what could be treatment 
Answer very good. Answer IV sodium bicarbonate. Can you please answer what is the one more option given? Can you recall able to recall what is the one more option given? Soda bicarbonate is answer right. But any you able to recall another option was lavage gas lavage. Okay, gas lavage. Okay. Other option gastric lavage. Okay. Okay, good. Now for this poisoning, actually. First thing is external cooling. Just remember for aspirin poisoning, first thing external cooling and giving IV fluids to control vomiting to treat the dehydration. But since it's acidic drug poisoning, acidic, acidic, acidic drug poisoning, for this we give treatment by promoting excretion that by using bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate, forced alkaline diuresis can be done. Other thing, to control the hypoglycemia, glucose can be given. If there is a severe bleeding, we can start blood transfusion, all these things. But the same question we discuss in other way in general pharmacology. That is, if a patient admitted with aspirin poisoning or barbituric acid poisoning in acidic drug poisoning, one of the treatment is we have to promote excretion by alkalization, post alkalization. It is done by injecting sodium bicarbonate or by using astrozolamide, a carbonic anhydrase enzyme blocker. So this is the we discuss in our POIK session. The first case will be this case. Okay. So the for aspirin poisoning in your need page question, the choice will be sodium bicarbonate alkaline diuresis. That's the right answer. Now. I think there's one more question from CNS. Alcoholic patient developed confusion, nystagmus, ataxia. Which this is due to which vitamin deficiency? Whether the same type of question is there or some other model? I think they asked about vernix encephalopathy. Whether this question or in different way? Okay. So can you answer whether this was uh, same question or something different way, but the meaning of the question they just want to ask about uh, vernix encephalopathy. Okay, it's a case of vitamin B1 deficiency. Please remember the case of vitamin B1 uh, vernix encephalopathy due to B1 deficiency. Sixth nerve palsy mentioned. Sixth nerve palsy also mentioned. Okay. But actually, in chronic alcoholic, when they develop the confusion and eye movements, attacks, I mean, mostly B1 deficiency called vernix encephalopathy. Okay. It may be extra nerve palsy is also mentioned. Okay. Next. Ah. No. Bronchial osmotic patient developed thyroid storm with atrial fibrillation. The next step in the management is, can I answer? Bronchial osmotic patient developed thyroid storm which with atrial fibrillation. What will be next step of management? Options are PTU, propanolol, diltiazem, esmolol. Look at here. Patient is asthmatic but developed thyroid storm with the F. See, here the most important aspect you have to treat the atrial fibrillation. Actually speaking, thyroid storm with tachycardia, we go for beta blocker. We can go for beta blocker like propanolol. That's the right answer. But patient is asthmatic, so propanolol ruled out. Okay, and whether we can go for PTU, we can use, but problem is mainly atrial fibrillation. So we have to control arrhythmia. So I need some anti arrhythmic agent. No question. For treating this, whether we can go small, see, small is ultra short acting, ultra short acting, acting only for less than 10 minutes, acting approximately only for 9 minutes. So, so atrial fibrillation for this is not useful. Better go for diltiasm, a CCB acting on. AV node acting on AV node reducing AV conduction that will be the best answer. So, answer will be diltiasm. See for atrial fibrillation, look at it. this. Was we discussed in DVT class for atrial fibrillation, two type of treatment are there 
one type of treatment rate controller those drug acting on heavy node blocking heavy conduction like mnemonic a b c d a for adenosine b for beta blocker c for ccb like rapamycin diltiazem d for digoxin so here they given beta blocker but patient asthmatic so go for don't go for propranolol esmolol ultra short acting is not useful here so better answer would be go for ccb like diltiazem that's the best answer for this question okay anyway other options are there that is we can other methods of treatment it's not necessary for this in your question the right answer diltiazem now drugs useful for treating chemotherapy induced thrombocytopenia is dash options are opervacin darbopytin filgrastim can i please answer what is the one more option given any idea drug useful as answer opal weekend very good it's a indel leukin 11 analog that's the right answer fantastic anybody what is the one more option given can you able to recall drug useful for treating chemotherapy induced thrombocytopenia answer right but can you able to recall what is the one more option opal weekend darbopytin filgrastim any idea nobody okay uh it's five of you five of you okay five for us okay no that's an anti cancer drug anyway i this was what this is what we discussed in our dvd class for treatment of anti cancer drug induced neutropenia we go for colony sweating factor like filgrastim for anemia we go for erythropoietin analog like darbopoietin or ipoietin for treatment of thrombocytopenia we go for opal weekend opal weekend that is the question for your paper so this is our dvt slide this is the answer okay opal weekend the yeah, interleukin 11 analog useful for treatment of thrombocytopenia right next uh this is thing somebody post in other way somebody post other way now can you please answer drug therapy for hepatitis b what was the exact question dr kon what the exact question drug therapy for hepatitis b any idea they given this is the right option uh pek interferon alpha tenofovir sovacivir velpatasvir this is an option given or some other options are given anybody okay answer give <laughs> tenofovir ten they given lamivudin plus interferon uh interferon with Tenofovir. Oh, duration also asked. Uh, duration also asked. Okay, okay, okay. Duration also asked. Can you recall it? So long, seven. Duration. High viral load. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, so only tenofovir option is given, and with the uh, options all are okay. came. well okay one option only interferon one option only interferon okay one more option only tenofovir and then pek interferon alpha for 52 weeks okay 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 so so confusion how many months okay uh that mean exact question i don't know okay uh this for this if they asking since the tenofovir window given for in life long or can be used for so many years four to five years interferon alpha is useful only for 48 weeks maximum 50 weeks okay so uh here any number of months or year mean go for tenofovir only for less than 48 weeks or less than 50 mean go for pek interferon alpha okay so only for 52 weeks mean interferon alpha better and so only i mean no time limit mean go for tenofovir anyway this question i will verify and tell you later on okay so exact answer i am not i mean question option i am not able to get after getting with the duration i will i will post the question next ah uh, this was right surgical prophylaxis 
in a 50 year old patient post for cardiac surgery okay surgical prophylaxis in a 50 year old patient post for cardiac surgery is what options are penicillin g doxycycline cefazolin ciprofloxacin what answer yeah cefazolin this is our regular question cefazolin is the drug useful for surgical prophylaxis okay Okay, erythropoiesis is also there. Okay. Which option? That means I, I have to remove what? Suffice is the right answer. What I should replace? Okay, somebody is saying, uh, Daniel thing, erythropoiesis was given. For, uh, instead of what? They give erythropoiesis. Oh, instead of cipro. Instead of cipro, they give erythro. Okay, 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 okay. Erythro. So, surgical prophylaxis means it is mainly cefazolin. Cefazolin, don't go for other options. Okay. Right. Next. Ah. A smoker on nicotine therapy for smoke for smoking. A, pay, a smoker on nicotine therapy for smoking dependence. And clonidine for hypertension. He stopped the clonidine but continued nicotine and developed a headache. The mechanism of headache in this patient is due to, yeah, uh, surface one was not given. Noor judge, then what was option given? Subtraction was given? Okay. Ah, very good, very good. Look here. Somebody is telling, that is Noor telling, is not given. Come on, he is telling, uh, surface is not, they given subtraction. Am I right? Subtraction, am I right? If suffers were given, that's the answer. If not also, that's the answer. See, recent recommendation, the second generation, third generation surplus points are very fantastic drug for surgical prophylaxis, in fact, for cardiac surgery. So, either suffers was the right answer or initial surplus point, if they give subtraction, that's all right. I think they given suffers was given, okay. Sephasolin person mean that's the best answer. If if not, instead of sephasolin, if they give septraxone, that's also can be used. Okay. Ah. Instead of sephasolin, septrax was given. That mean that mean you can go for that also. No problem at all. Don't worry. Right. Now, patient stopped the clot in therapy. Developed the headache, what could be the mechanism? See, I, clo I told in class, regular classroom, clonidine, a yeah, alpha 2 agonist, useful for hypertension, but worst drug for hypertension because, because sudden stopping of clonidine causes rebound hypertension. That may cause headache problem. So, answer is option A, rebound hypertension. Okay. So, remember, in a yeah, alpha antagonist, one of the most important side effects causes rebound hypertension. For this hypertension, treatment the choice will be either going for fentolamine or talazolidine, uh, the so-called non-selective alpha blocker can be used. So, in your question, clonidine stopped it, developed the headache mean maybe due to rebound hypertension. Okay, next. No, no, no. It is rebound hypertension. Meet Patel, it's a rebound hypertension. Patient having recurrent attack of gout, which one of the following drug inhibiting synthesis of uric acid? What you made answer? Allopenol, probenicid, colchicin, diclofenac. What answer? This is under very, very, very straight question. The drug inhibiting synthesis of uric acid asking. That means only two drugs are there. One is allopenol, one more drug, febuxostat. Straight question. Allopenol, one more drug, febuxostat. So, answer allopenol. Probenicin, uric acid, colchicin, diclofenac, useful for acute gout. They are having anti inflammatory controlling pain. So, right answer for the question allopenol. Then, a three week old child with the paroxysms of cough, fever. Total leukocyte count was 50,000. 
with the absolute lymphocytosis what will be the management somebody asked it what is the treatment for pertussis it's a case of pertussis okay for this what will be the best chance of usually for pertussis we go for macrolides macrolide will be the best chance of macrolide but here they given astro clarithro what i should should choose that's answer it's a case of uh, pertussis but i should go for macrolide but they given two options astro or clarithro what about they given child age see usually in a less than one month baby we don't use clarithro so I mean, we don't use erythro and clarithro is also not good for less than one month baby so the best answer for this question will be astromycin in a less than one month baby if we give erythromycin chances of pyloric stenosis or more and clarithromycin safety in newborn not established so they are not good so here the best answer go for astromycin okay uh, it skipped me no problem don't worry uh, but here the right answer will be astromycin okay and i think almost all the 21 question i have discussed so far now pay, pay a premi gravid lady with the post part hemorrhage having asthma in this i think i don't know the option uh, what is the drug contra indicator somebody posted this question one option they told that is carboprost the answer is carboprost carboprost pgf2 alpha they are going to aggravate bronchial asthma can you tell me what are the other option given one is carboprost what are the other options any idea patient with post partum premi with post partum hemorrhage developed i mean with the asthma which drug going to cause okay options are misoprostol misoprostol dinoprostone uh, and then oxidosin okay okay so right answer for question carboprost carboprost is the right answer and i think almost all the question discussed whether i think is whether they ask in pharmacology or surgery i don't know sub arcade hemorrhage next management here pharmacology question mean we say nimodipine here yes, cerebro selective ccb going to prevent reflux passive spasm so very good choice so answer here is nimodipine in case of sih we go for nimodipine okay oh clipping also given huh? clipping oh if it is there i think this may be the good answer no surgery NGO was given. Oh, this totally surgery and medicine doctor. Now we we will not deal with the question. We will not. Okay. So if there's no uh, no clipping was given, not given. Huh? Okay. I think this is a totally medicine question, not our option. Okay. Right. Whether this question anything related to anything related to trust was asked? Whether they ask anything about trust is map. okay whether they ask about gonorrhea treatment gonorrhea treatment and whether they ask about restless leg syndrome no no and acne failure this will be taken by dermatologist so no problem okay i think if you see the question paper basic question paper all the question what we discuss everything will be from class of notes only okay so the atropine poisoning treatment atropine adverse effect and succubital and uh, one more thing the homeopathy lots are only one tough question in cardiology is the kinetic based arb related kinetic that's tough question thrombolytic agents are easy mannitol easy potash sparing that is easy and clozapine very easy acclimatization even very easy only one question okay that was uh, the problem of uh, arb with the kinetic that one question you may dif um, find difficult i think so okay i think the one question you find difficulty all other things you are done very good any other uh any question i missed doctor can you able to recut any question i have missed
If I missed me, can you tell one or two questions so that I can make a full video and may upload in your okay. Okay. Gonorrhea, straight question means subtraction. Subtraction is the Daga choice. So okay. Gonorrhea, straight question means the Daga choice will be uh okay. Gonorrhea, drug of choice, gonorrhea, as and drug drug for central. Drug for central diabetes insipidus means better go for desopressin. Desopressin. A vasopressin B2 analog. That is a very good choice for central diabetes insipidus. Okay. Uh, post pituitary resection. Ah, uh, DDAVP. That is called. Uh, Vasopressin analog for pituitary, that is central diabetes insipidus. They ask, okay. Mm. Okay, and one more thing. After high, hypophysectomy, vasopressin was lifelong or just two months? Oh, duration based question asked. Vasopressin therapy, whether lifelong or only for? Uh, two months they asked. Okay, okay, okay. I will post this question. Lifelong or two months? Okay, okay. So, medicine question. Anyway, we will teach desopressin useful for diabetes, in central diabetes, also for bleeding, diabetes, all these things. They ask about. Okay, right. Okay. <laughs> uh, Sumbu asking, please say lifelong. <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. So when there's a no pituitary, there's no uh, hormone getting sent. This means we have to use lifelong only. Okay, right. So lifelong only answer. Anyway, we'll we'll, we'll find your answer. Most probably it should be lifelong. Anyway, we verify and tell you. Okay. Any other question able to recut? Okay. And last question. In your opinion, what about our class notes and what about our DVT, our PYQ. I think most of the question from that only. Okay. So, can you just comment? How do you feel from a question now? Anything out of question? Anything out of class notes? Okay. Nothing, no. Okay. Fantastic. All the very best. May God bless you. Definitely, you're going to become very good postgraduates. So, thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Okay. DKA dose for turning a world child. Okay, DKA. Okay, DKA. One question based on DKA, that's the insulin dose. Okay, doctor. Okay. I will recall the question. I will I will post it. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for your cooperation. So may God bless you. All the very best, very best. Thank you. Mechanics function of nimodipine. Nimodipine is cerebroselective CCB. It's a vasodilator useful to prevent reflux vasospasm due to HCH. Prevent reflux vasospasm. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. All good night. Good night.